the, the lamb meat is nicely coming through. You have that numbing kind of spiciness from the Sichuan peppercorns. Hello everyone, welcome to Travel Sticks. Welcome to part two of the uh, Gusto lamb cooking. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make uh, let's say traditional northern style uh, jiaozi uh, or you know, dumplings. Uh, these are generally eaten during the Lunar New Year, so uh, given that it's not that far behind us, uh, it is still applicable and it is very yummy. So we'll go over the ingredients, each of them, it's relatively simple, and then we'll just get cooking. So if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe if you liked. So the first is minced lamb. Uh, so we will take this piece of lamb and mince it ourselves. Then obviously we have soy sauce. Um, for this one we're also using a zucchini and some carrots. Um, for the mixture itself we'll also have some simple uh, salt with uh, Sichuan peppercorns, as you can see here. Some ginger, you can use fresh ginger as well. Some peanut oil or sesame oil for extra flavor. And obviously, in order to make our wrappers, we need flour and water, which you'll see in a bit as well. So now we're going to mince it. Uh, an easy way to do it is basically um, to chop it into fine layers and then just hammer away, hammer away basically. Home minced lamb meat. So in order to make your meat filling, you just add soy sauce first to your lamb meat. Make sure your lamb meat looks uh, a bit darker. Then you add your salt, your ginger and your sesame oil. And lastly, the Sichuan peppercorns. Now with the peppercorns, take as much or as little as you like. It is pretty potent. For the vegetable part of your mix, just take your carrots and your zucchinis and just peel them both uh, and chop them up as finely as you can. Um, if you want to, you can always obviously use a, a food processor to make it go a little quicker. Now to make the dough, just take dough and water, mix until a bouncy consistency and then roll it out into a sausage form and let it rest for at least an hour. Once you've done that, put it back on your tray and cut off small pieces from the sausage. Now after that take a piece and roll it out to a circle roughly the size of your palm. You can do this fully by hand or use a rolling pin. We suggest using a rolling pin as it's faster. Now the second way is using a rolling pin. So here you do the same thing again. You roll it into a ball and then you basically want to use your rolling pin to first roll it out into a semicircle, well, or in somewhat of a circle, and then the idea is to roll up, twist, roll up, twist, and then you just want to do this the whole time. Obviously, the more you do this, the, the faster you'll become. I'm not super proficient at it either, but hey, it's a, an easier way to do it, I guess. Okay, so we finished making our wrappers, so in the end, they'll look something like this, maybe a bit more round, uh, maybe a bit bigger depending on how much dough you've put in. Now in order to fill the wrappers it's pretty easy, you take a wrapper, you take some of the meat, some of the vegetables, as much or as little as you like, you add it into the wrapper and then you wet the edges of the wrapper with some water and then you can begin folding it. Now in order to fold it, um, there are multiple ways in which to do it, but we will show you at least one. So you grab it just like this and then you just start adding pleats so just like this. And then you should get something roughly like this. So this is a way. 
So this is an example of how it would look roughly in the end. So the dumplings have been in uh, the freezer uh, just overnight since uh, we didn't have time to do it yesterday. So we're going to cook them today and what we're going to do is we're going to do it pot sticker style. Um, so basically we're going to heat up the pan, put some oil in it, then put in each of the dumplings and uh, once they start turning somewhat golden brown uh, then we're going to add uh, some water and then basically make sure that, that uh, they don't stick to the pot but that they still, uh, which is a bit counterintuitive, but that they still can get loose from the pot and at the same time that the upper side also cooks properly, which you'll see in a bit. So I've tried a, a couple out <clears throat> and in terms of the flavor it's absolutely amazing. Like the, the lamb meat is nicely coming through. You have that numbing kind of spiciness from the Sichuan peppercorns. It's a little bit of sweet in there as well. The vegetables clearly give it a bit of a different texture. So that's all really good. The only, I think, place where I failed a little was um, in managing and cooking the skins. Because for example, this is roughly how you want it, so the bottom needs to be golden, a bit charred and everything on the sides needs to be roughly white uh, and it needs to be like bouncy. So that one worked out, but some basically had a bit too much water um, or a bit too much oil I think, so the bottom side got a bit soggy too quickly, so that's something you want to avoid. Um, okay. Next time better, but it still tastes amazing. If you have any questions, any suggestions, um, feel free to let me know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one.